Hi, I'm Avni Bansal with Live Law. According to the UN Population Fund, around two-thirds of the women in the age category of 15 to 49 years have either been beaten, raped, or have been forced to have sex. Now the question is, what is the law in India as regards marital rape? We are all aware of Section 375 of the Indian Penal Code that lays down what amounts to rape and what is the definition of rape. But what very few people are aware of is the exception to Section 375 that says that marital rape in India is exempted from the definition of rape. Now let me unwrap the legal provision and try and give some sort of an understanding on what is the legal position as regards uh, marital rape in India. See, as per the Prohibition of Child Marriage, uh, Prohibition of Child Marriage Act, the age, the legal age for uh, consenting to a valid marriage is 18 years. If a person or a couple who are less than 18 years get married, it is voidable. Also, we know that the age for consenting to sexual intercourse in India is 18 years, which means that if you have sexual intercourse with a woman who is less than 18 years of age, then her consent does not matter. It would amount to rape. However, Section 375, Exception 2, carves out an exception to the definition of rape when it says that a woman, if she is married, cannot uh, complain of rape except if she is 15 years of age. What this says is that if there is any woman in the country who is married, as long as she is below 15 years of age, she can complain of rape. But any woman who is married and is above 15 years of age does not have any remedy in the eyes of law. What this does is it creates a situation where marriage becomes a blanket license for rape in the closed doors. Now, the Justice Verma Committee report uh, did consider marital rape and there were several submissions made in this regard, most notably by Ms. Indra Jaising, who is a lawyer in the Supreme Court in India and was also the former Solicitor General. In her keynote address to Justice Verma Committee report, she said that the existence of uh, an exception like this under Section 375, which decriminali decriminalizes marital rape, is, um, is equal to amounting, uh, amounts to treating women like a chattel. It in a way suggests that women, and especially married women, are property of their husbands who can be used at the pleasure of the husband. Now, the Justice Verma Committee did, uh, did advocate for the need for criminalizing marital rape. However, it feared that if such an exception is uh, not marked out, then it may lead to abuse and eventually to a dent in the institution of marriage itself. So a lot of people who are sympathetic to the cause really ask if uh, marital rape was uh, recognized as a criminal offense in India then wouldn't that lead to a lot of frivolous complaints being filed in the court of India? And yes, it is indeed a concern. However, the solution is not to have marital rape as a blanket exception. What we need is to look at other jurisdictions around the world. Most notably, there are 13 American states which have now decriminalized marital rape. Uh, the law in uh, three Australian states, Denmark, Norway, Israel, France, Canada, these are all the countries that recognize marital rape as an offense. So probably there's a need to look at how these countries have been able to deal with the frivolous cases, what are the checks that can be put in the law so that uh, the frivolous complaints, if they cannot be completely ruled out, they can at least be minimized to a large extent. Now, the real question in India today before us is that if we want to continue uh, to maintain marriage as uh, the sanctful and the divine um, relationship that it is, do we continue to hide uh, rape that happens within the garb of marriage or should we recognize that it is high time that a woman should be able to say no to rape, should be able to say no to any forced sexual intercourse irrespective of whether it is in the domain of marriage or outside of it. Now, I, Avni Bansal with Live Law, have through this short video tried to bring this issue uh, to the Indian people today. And we are asking this question that do you think marital rape should continue to be decriminalized in India or that the Indian legislation should carve out a law saying that marital rape in India should be an offense just as similar to any rape offense in India. I hope that this short video will create awareness. If you like this video, kindly share it. Leave your comments to tell us what you think of it. I'm Avni Bansal with Live Law. Thank you so much for watching.